that actually really sucks <laughs> so yeah so there's that <laughs> oh point zero zero two i guess it's not whoa we just flew all the way across the freaking screen i don't know what that was What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully, you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having an awesome day. It is midnight, and we are back on Gold Rush, and it is the middle of the night. And it's probably pretty dark for you guys to see, but I thought it'd be kind of a cool scene to start the video off. So let's just go ahead and sleep until dawn. Now, early morning on the fourth day, if you look up in the upper right-hand corner, we got 85 bucks, we got zero ounces of gold, and that's because... In the last episode, we were able to upgrade to the hog pan pump. Unfortunately, we didn't have the extension to go ahead and have all four of the moss mats with us. So I went ahead off camera, got some more gold, sold it, melted it, sold it. And I filled up our, uh, our pump, I filled up our truck, and I went ahead and got the extension. So let's just go ahead and set this up real quick. Now I'm not going to do... Um, well, I guess I'll do one or maybe two pan. Would you just get in there? Um, I'm not going to do like a full episode of me using the extension. Also, I, uh, I bought a, a filter for this because I know some of you guys are probably freaking out saying you need a filter on the end of that, even though it really doesn't do anything in the game as of yet, but I'm not going to do a full episode of just using the extension. As you can see, we've got four, count them, four teriyaki flavored fruit roll-ups up here that we need to fill up along with a little bit of soda pop and it's going to get you basically twice as much gold as the regular pump is going to do uh so what i'm going to do no well let's do it this way i've decided to go a little bit of a different way than most people do normally what they do is they 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 get off camera and they go a full a hundred percent on all four of our teriyaki flavored fruit roll-ups and then they'd go and they'd sell all the gold and they'd get like 50 grand and they'd go and buy the next step up, which is the, um, I don't remember what it was. What is it? Is it tab? Yeah. Uh, they're going to go, they go out and they buy the mobile wash plant, which is right here. We're going to go a little bit different way. I've decided nobody else has really done this that I've seen as of yet. So we're going to do it a little bit different. I am going to go to a hundred percent on these off camera. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go purchase the wash bay or the wave no it's not the wash bay it's the wave table that's what it is because i want to see basically the biggest the biggest time consumer of this is washing your mats out and then having to pan all of those buckets of of gold out and that's kind of the biggest time you know time spender so i'm gonna i'm definitely gonna take these up to 100 percent and then i'm gonna show you like one maybe two panfuls of um of how much gold this gets you per pan which is actually quite a bit it's impressive it's like eight nuggets or something like that anyway i'm gonna do that real quick and then we're gonna go get the wash table and we're gonna see how much more efficient the wash table is before we decide to go absolutely nuts and go out and get uh the mobile wash plant and we're going to do that. Now, I don't know if we're going to be able to have enough time to go get the mobile wash plant in this episode, but I figured, you know what, you guys might might benefit a little bit to see if you get the wash table first, what can that can afford you by using the wash table with the hog pan pump as well as the extension and stuff. So I'm going to get started on this. And I also noticed in the last episode that um, there's two things that I noticed. One, it was a little bit loud on the engine. I'm sorry about that. I turned down the game sounds a little bit. Hopefully you guys can, can, can hear a little bit better. But if you come over here and you crouch, I was wondering how you know in the jerry cans how, how full they are. Well, if you look where my crosshairs are, you see that line right there? That is actually a fill line. That is very hard to see, very hard to notice, but I notice it, and as you can see, I filled up our jerry can because the red is almost all the way at the top. So just a little bit of a pro tip for you guys, if you're wondering how much helpful those are, um, that, that, that fill line is there. So I'm going to get started on this, and we'll see you guys in a moment. Be right back. Ah, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is the morning of day five, and yes, indeed, we do have a stuck, stuck. We do have a hot pan, hog, hog pan full of gold. And I just slept, I just realized I slept without turning off our motor here. Uh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Let's go ahead and turn this off. 
As you can see, we've got 100% teriyaki flavored fruit roll-ups and we're all good to go. Now, you guys are probably wondering why I've decided to go out and do the wavetable instead of uh, just going straight to um, the mobile wash plant. And basically, most people I th I've seen most people go immediately to the mobile wash plant. Um, and that's just because they can. Uh, but the thing is, is I kind of want to show you guys every different possible scenario you can do for, you know, finding the gold. You can do different types of, of gold panning, I guess. You can do the panning way. Oh. You can do the panning way, you can do the shoveling way. And with this, I think what I want to do is, because I want to show every way possible to pan, I'm kind of also thinking that maybe we'll do some testing to find out exactly which method brings in the most gold. So I'm going to do one or two pans of this, and then I'm going to do the rest of it off camera so we don't waste a ton bunch of time for you guys. But if you guys don't know, one of the things is, is when you fill the hot pod pump, or the hot pog, oh, that's a bad name to say, the hog pan pump up to 100%, I believe it activates something in the game where you find the biggest nugget in like 40 years or whatever that this this guy's ever seen. Now, some people say, hey, you know, you should wash the, the nuggets until they're completely clean. It doesn't do anything, guys. I'm going to reiterate that over and over and over again. i got to get used to these buttons. Now, look at all of these nugs, and these are all from 100% um, filled up, uh, what are they called? Moss mats, or in our case, teriyaki flavored fruit roll-ups. I'm waiting for that, that little message to come up saying we found the biggest nugget in the world and yada yada this and yada that. Now, some people say, oh, well, you can use the ridges in the pan to stop the gold from falling out and then you can uh, dump all of the you can dump the, uh, the, the, the what are they called I'm sorry I'm concentrating on trying to get this nugget um, yeah so you can use these ridges uh, let's see I'm gonna pull this over here you can use these ridges to stop the gold from dumping out but guess what guys the ridges are there for show and they don't actually do anything unfortunately um, so yeah uh, if you're thinking about making a comment like that, I just kind of proved that really doesn't work. So, unfortunately, it would be cool if it did help you. Come on. If it did help you with uh, getting the gold out. But as you can see, this is a fairly big time resource when it comes down to doing this. Um, and that's kind of one of the problems when it comes down to the panning side of it. And that's also one of the reasons I wanted to go get the... Um, the, the the what's it called the um oh man my brain has just gone stupid right now it's brain fart the uh the the wave table that's why i wanted to go get the wave table is i kind of wanted to uh show you guys that you can you can avoid all this time wasting uh when it comes down to just this panning stuff um you know what i wonder did they change that did they update it so when you wash it more it gives more nuggets I believe they did. They changed it. So when you wash more, you get more nuggets. It's probably only about two washes, but that looked like it had more nuggets. I don't know. I'll have to go back and review the video. And then if it, if it if it's true, then I may have to put out a little note on this video letting you guys know, hey, that's there we go. There it is right there. I've never seen anything like that. It's the biggest gold nugget I've seen for 40 years of my experience as a miner. Ran out of breath. I hope it's not just beginner's luck and you'll see it. You use it wisely to stop shoveling and start using proper machines. Okay, so basically what he's telling you is now you've got enough money to... Because that was a huge nugget. That gave us... That was like a... 30 ounce nugget or some crap like that because we're up to like 39.52 and I think they put that in so it'll kind of it kind of gives you a boost um, to get into the uh, mobile wash plant and stuff like that so what I'm going to go ahead and do is we're probably going to end up with about 40 ounces out of this I'm going to go I'm going to finish this off off camera I'm going to go sell it and we're just going to go buy the wash plant not the wash plant why do I keep saying the wash plant the wave table damn it I'm going to go buy that, and then we're going to do a little bit of shoveling in that and see how well that works out. We're going to do a little bit of um, uh, 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 more of the, the the hog pan pump 
shoveling stuff. You know, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are just pulling into the smithy here. Stop. That's what the break is for. Gosh. We got 40.245 ounces. Holy crap. It's going to cost probably around 400 yep, $402. That's why I'd melt the gold. And we got about 3.62 ounces of loss. That's a lot of loss when you're dealing with bricks like this. Holy crap. Can you just fit in there? Yeah, don't fall out. Okay, let's go ahead and sell this and see how much money we get out of it. Should probably get around 50 grand. And then we're going to go get the wave table. And I'm going to try and figure out exactly how the wave table what like pieces that we need for it because I don't exactly know like how many pieces whoa 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 I don't know how many pieces or what pieces we actually need for it so I figured eh, we'll, we'll do it all together like a glove okay so turn off get out all right now you don't actually need to bring the gold up to the bank so we'll just go up to here we'll sell gold 4.25 ounces as you can three we got see we got negative three point three point eighteen three eighteen sell and stock sell gold okay so it's sold so we got forty eight thousand four hundred and five dollars now i want to check the journal uh the dig tube oh they've changed the dig tube too oh okay small trailer mobile front end loader excavator uh magnetite trailer camper tent gas station Okay, so is there, what happened to the gold? I'm going to have to go through this and figure out how this actually works in a second. But before I do that, what I want to say is officially they have changed the way the panning works. Before, your very first wash on your panning would result in, no, would result in, um, all of your gold being revealed at once. They've actually changed it now. On your first wash, you're actually going to find that you're only going to get about two nuggets. On your second wash, you'll get about eight nuggets. And this is from like 100%, you know, hog pump with the extension and everything. And then on your third uh, wash, you're going to get two more nuggets, which is around 10. So it does pay as of right now to completely wash until your water is clean. So just a heads up on that. Okay. Wave table. I know that we need a wave table and the wave table needs a pump, needs water to it, and it also needs power. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to buy the wave table. And like I said, the reason I'm doing this, bef doing this, I, be, 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 like I said before, the reason I'm doing this is because everybody usually jumps straight to this thing right here, which is the mobile wash vehicle or mobile wash vehicle bay. I'm thinking Subnautica, mobile wash plant. So I wanted to try this out and see how this is going to work. So what I want to do is I want to have one pump for the hog pan and then I want to have one pump for the wave table. Now we also need another one of these for the second pump for the water for the second pump. And we're going to need these anyway. We're also going to need another water for one of the or another water hose. Then we're going to need another filter and we're going to need. Yeah, we are going to need another filter. Um, Base, mm, now that I think about it, we actually don't. We don't even need the secondary pump. Well, we're going to need it for the um, the wash plant anyway, so I'm just going to go ahead and buy the, the secondary one as of right now, uh, the secondary pump. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Yeah, so the reason I said you know I was doing this before is because I definitely want to do some comparisons. We're going to need a plug. Um, and I want to see how efficient this wave table is with just shoveling dirt into it. Okay. So I think I've got everything. Uh, yeah, I think so. Oh, no, wait, we need, do we need a bucket? No, we don't need a bucket with that. Okay. So let's go ahead and look. So we need the wave table. Yes. We need the water pump small. We're going to need that anyway. Another fat hose, another, um, water hose, thin rope. Uh, uh, yeah, I did. I did miss something. I think we need one of these mobile generator. Got too busy talking. And I couldn't remember what the hell I bought. Okay. So that should be it right there. 
Okay, so that's going to cost us 6650 all right? So I know a lot of you guys are like, dude, you should just be going for the mobile wash plant, man. But I want to do testing. That's what I do. That's why I do the... No, that's why I do these videos. Sometimes it's just to get some testing in, you know? Toss that. Oh, perfect. Toss. <laughs> toss. Toss. <sighs> I should stop doing these at midnight. I get tired sometimes and it's just like oh and we're standing on it we are standing on it and i'm stuck okay i don't know if i can even get all this stuff in here i don't know i'm gonna get all this stuff in here and we're gonna get back to to our um to our claim i'll be right back guys okay guys welcome back as you can see we are back at camp i've got the mobile wash vehicle or mobile wash vehicle bay. damn it <sighs> the wave table i'm gonna set it right here and I got to figure out where all of the hosing and stuff is. Actually, let's do it this way. Let's turn it this direction. There we go. There we go. It's very rocky right there. You get it by the water a little bit. This, this is going to be ridiculous. Let's put it over here. <laughs> Wait, stop. It, these things, man, they never just sit the way you want them to sit. I know that's going to end up screwing up my cords. Okay, so I got all the extra stuff right here. This is just going to be for when we do uh, the wash plant, and we don't need them right now, unfortunately. So what we can actually do first is we need to fill up our power generator. Let's take off the, the cap, toss in some fuel, get this bad boy powered up, or powered up, fueled up. Oh, man, I am mixing up my words tonight. Holy crap. Okay, next we need to take let's see we need to put water we'll go from this where's the little thing there it is water will go from this over to this and i think it's in the back here yeah there right there okay now the reason i got more hoses and stuff is mainly because i see a lot of people there they take and they do um, they, they, they do power cord changes and water cord changes and yada, yada, this and yada, yada, that. And it's really annoying to me. It's kind of a time waster. Do I even need this? Yes, I need this. Okay. So I need to roll up my cord a little bit here. Okay. So I do need it. It should go right there, but it's not going up there. Okay. I've, I've seen people who have had this problem before, I believe. And what we need to do is we need to unhook this. We need to pick this up, drop it back down, and then see if that'll fix the problem. No, that's not fixing the problem. I don't know what the heck's going on. Okay, give me a sec, guys. I'll see if I can figure out what the heck is going on with this because I think the power... Oh, it's the wrong power cord. I'm an idiot. Idiot, idiot, idiot. We didn't even need this power cord. We're going to need this for... When we uh, we do the mobile wash, I got the mobile wash and this thing completely just confused. Where's the other power cord? There it is, right there. Do sorry guys, uh, we'll get it. We'll get it eventually. It'll happen. I promise. Chill out, relax. I'm an idiot. I can't believe. Wait, is this this one's not working either? What the heck? Okay, we're back, and I got it. Uh, basically, all it is is you need to pick it up and just move it. Uh, for some reason, the plugs, a little bit of a glitch, the plugs won't actually highlight when you try to put them in, so I moved it. It's at a horrible angle. In real life, if we were to actually use this thing, um, we would basically need uh, it to be completely flat with no, you know, no the angles or dips or anything else. It'd have to be completely flat. So now what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead... And I'm going to fill these all the way up to 100% again. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going the extra mile and turning our, our fruit roll-ups into teriyaki-flavored fruit roll-ups 100%. And then we're going to see, I'm going to time how long it takes for me to do that. And we're going to see how much gold we get out of it. And then when we do the uh, mobile wash plant, we're going to go ahead and do the exact same thing with that. And we're going to see what type of a gold situation we're going to have with that. And we're going to compare the two. I'm not going to do the mobile wash plant today. Today is just all about the wave table, how much gold it can make you and how much it can save you in time. If it can save you anything in time, yada, yada, yada. It's all about the wash table. I'll be right back when we're at hundred percent. See you guys in a minute. 
All right, guys, welcome back. As you can see, our fruit roll-ups are at 100% and we're completely done. So let's go ahead and shut this off real quick so we can kind of calm the noise down. Just wait a minute. We need to keep it on, don't we? Because we have to use the wave table and it needs to pump. So let's go ahead and switch on our generator here. I think both of them are running now. Now, real quick, let's go ahead and grab the bucket. And I'm just going to go ahead and take one shovel full of the bucket. And we're going to, as you can see, I, 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 I dug a really deep hole, <laughs> a really deep hole. If you're looking at how much it takes to, to fill uh, the hog pan up to 100%, you're looking at about a half, half an hour real time. Um, so you could probably do it maybe about 20 minutes if, you know, you do it nonstop and you don't take breaks to pick your nose or to cough or to go pee or anything else. You know, all the stuff that I basically did. Why is this, is this thing full or what? So what I want to do first is I want to start off by doing the bucket thing and it doesn't tell you if it's full or not. I'm assuming that one bucket full is probably going to be full. I don't know. It's not really raisin. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and take this down or take our, take our shovel, put our shovel away. And we're going to go ahead and turn this on. We need to make sure that the water's on too, which is a little lever over here. All right, so we got some water. Now let's just do a bucket full. As you can see, we got no gold in the upper right-hand corner. Let's just do a bucket and see how we do on that. And if you watch the upper right-hand corner, it should show you how much gold we get. So 0.001. That's absolute crap. That actually really sucks. <laughs> so, yeah. So there's that. <laughs> oh, 0 0.002. I guess it's not... Whoa! Whoa! We just flew all the way across the freaking screen. I don't know what that was. I'm assuming that's kind of a glitch that happens. Okay, so we got 0 .002 doing it with the wave table and just the buckets. Um, yeah, that's kind of sad. So let's go ahead. We're going to have to turn this thing off just for a split second here so we can get our... Come on, we gotta get our mats out so we can wash off our mats. And I think we can use the wave table once we're done washing off our mats to separate this out. And I just, I was really, I was thinking about going for the, going for the mobile wash plant today, but honestly, this kind of just caught my attention. I thought, I wonder how much can we get using just the wave table and our hog pan and the sleuths, it's sleuths and whatever the heck they're called. Sleuths, 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 the, the extended four mat hog pant, whatever. Okay, so we need to turn this thing back on. Uh, pull the cable, thank you. Okay, so here we go. We got .002 in just a regular bucket with the hog pan uh, pump. What are we getting at 100%? Oh, look at that bad boy rise. Look at it go. 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 9, 1 ounce. 1.1. It looks like it's slowing down a little bit. Oh, no, now it's speeding up again. Okay, so you're looking at around 1.4 using the wave table with just the hog, uh, the hog pan the, with the pump. Um... Honestly, that's really not too bad. One one ounce is one thousand two hundred. Last we checked, or one thousand was it one thousand was it one thousand two hundred last time we checked? I don't remember what it was. I think it was around one thousand two hundred last time we checked. So that's not too bad. So that's about a thousand every half an hour. That's actually a little bit over a thousand. It's about one point two, six hundred, six seven eight. It's about one thousand eight hundred dollars, um, or yeah, one thousand eight hundred dollars for every thirty minutes that you do it with this. That's not really too bad, to be honest with you. But to be honest with you, you've only got so much of this pay dirt over here that you can really utilize. Uh, eventually, you're going to run out. As you can see, I've done two 100%. It's almost at about half when it comes down to our pay dirt over here. So eventually, we're going to run out. So one of the good things that you can do is you can go ahead and hire workers if you want. Right now, I really don't think we have the money to hire workers, uh, mainly because we don't have enough money coming in. The workers use about 120 bucks 
um, per day or something like that, I think is what it was. So, yeah, we're looking probably, eh, I, I would say it's probably not really worth it to go for the workers as of right now. However, once you get the mobile wash plant, you're going to, this is not going to be used uh, at all because you're going to be working on the mobile wash plant. Uh, so with this, you might, once you get the mobile wash plant, you might want to hire a worker just to work on this alone. And that way you can get, I think it's 0 0.002 uh, gold or ounces every couple of seconds or something like that. So they do give you a little bit of gold over time. But if you're okay with getting about $1,800 every half an hour real time life, real lifetime, real IRL, uh, then this works, but it's not really the most efficient. I think that we're going to find the mobile wash plant uh, is probably going to work out the best for us, to be completely honest with you. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to purchase all of the stuff for the mobile wash plant. And then we're going to come back and we'll see how much we can set up before uh, we run out of time. So we'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, nerds, welcome back. Now, you probably noticed that I didn't get the small excavator. We're just going to use the excuse that I didn't forget, and I wanted to do it in the next episode. But for this episode, as you can see, we're completely and ready. We're set up. We're ready to go. I've laid out everything that we've needed. I had to go back and buy another Jenny, and I'll show you exactly what we've got going. I don't want to move any hoses. I don't want to unclip things and reclip things. It just makes stuff go absolutely crazy and stuff glitches out and everything else. So I wanted to get everything set up at once. So I'm going to show you what I got going here. We've got a water pump. This this hose goes to the river down there along with the filter right there. We come over here. We've got another water pump. We've got a hose that goes from this water pump to that water pump that pumps more water. A lot of pumping of stuff there. Then we've got this water pump down here with this water pump that goes to that water pump up there. Now, more than likely, I can probably stretch these all the way up to the flat area up there. And I think I'm going to be moving the wash plant up there just so everything's nice and flat and it doesn't look all wonky to you guys on video. Now, you're probably wondering why I've got another pump down here. Well, this hose right here goes to this pump and this pump right here is going to provide water to the wash plant via this hose. This is a uh, Jenny that's going to be powering uh, power to the water plant, the wash plant, via that power plug right there. Now you're probably thinking you don't need two Jennies for that. Well the problem is is you do and this is why. Right here this is the plug that you use to plug in the, uh, the the wave pool, the wave pool, are we swimming? Uh, the wave wash plant, whatever the heck it's called. And this, as you can see, only has one connection on these jennies. So this is going to go, uh, this power, this plug is going to go to this jenny. This hose is going to go to this pump and provide water to the wave. Um, what the heck is this thing called? The wave plant, wave wash plant, wave wash plant, whatever it is. This power plug is going to go to this Jenny and this hose is also going to go to this pump and that's going to provide water and power to our magnetite separator and also uh, it's basically these two, this pump and this Jenny is going to provide power to these two as well as water to these two. Okay, then this Jenny is going to provide power to our mobile wash plant and this hose uh, is going to connect to this pump which is going to provide water to our wash plant. This way we don't have to worry about moving hoses around, uh, hoses glitching out and going demonistic on us and going crazy. Everything's set up the way it needs to be. As you can see, I filled up this Jenny. Now here's the cool thing I realized when I went to fill up our two, um, our two jerry cans over here. You can actually take these pumps and you can take these Jennies and you can take them directly to the gas station and power them up at the or power them up fuel them up at the gas stations and i had no idea that you could do that so figured that out that's pretty cool so this one's full already i filled up the truck i filled up our jerry cans this one's almost full but for some reason i've got a glitch on this jenny uh it won't let me close it won't let me close the little cap here i don't understand why i don't know 
Uh, why exactly? Can I crouch to it and maybe get it to close? Yeah, for some reason that's not closing. I also brought over our um, our panning bucket as well as our pan. You're probably thinking, wait a minute, you've got the wave wash pull thingamajigger. Why are you going to need that? Well, I am going to do one wash um, with the panning technique just to see how much gold we get uh, through one load up of the mobile wash plant. I've got our two extra buckets uh, down there in the magnetite uh, separator and this bucket I believe actually goes right into here. Yep. And so there's our power plug, there's our start button. So we're pretty much set up and ready to go. Uh, so I think what we're going to do is in the next episode we're going to go ahead and buy the ex excavator. We're going to learn how to drive the stinking thing. And uh, I think by that episode, I'm going to go ahead and off camera, make sure that I've got this wash plant. I think we're probably going to go up here where it's nice and flat and it's not going to mess with your guys' eyes when it comes down to, you know, the video and everything being sideways and crooked like this and everything will be nice and flat. So uh, hopefully this is a little bit informative. Uh, just to recap, 30 minutes to fill up your hog pan uh, pump and it gets you around 1.4 gram or ounces of gold, which will get you around 17 to 1800 gold, depending on the stock market. Uh, it's fairly slow, but it does work if you want to do that. Um, uh, I would say it's probably better just to move on to this if you're going to do it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, if you like the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming out the channel, hanging out with me, guys. Ran out of breath. Keep gaming. Keep doing them and I have a blast and we'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care and have a good one. Bye-bye.